It was, a, it was a steamy day yeah, outside. We got to the low 80s, 82 degrees today. Normal high 70, so well above the average. Right, bomb but then we're going back below average for the next few days. So it all evens out. It all comes out in the wash. That's how we get the averages when it all boils down to it. So let's take a look outside. You can see down the shore, we're seeing a little bit of light in the sky. The shower is still staying well off to the west. But notice the surf is looking to get a little bit rough right now. And it's only going to get worse over the next couple of days. A new coastal low is going to spin up throughout the day tomorrow and really be offshore spinning just close to the New Jersey coastline on Wednesday. That will affect the weather inland as well, but the most notable impacts of that coastal low will be felt in our shore communities. First, we got the cold front passage to deal with, though, and that comes tonight. Temperatures right now much cooler behind that boundary. You can see 60s here in Allentown, Reading, and Lancaster. Meantime, 70s and still 80 in Dover, 80 degrees there, 77 in Wilmington, and 73 in Millville. You can see how much cooler it is behind that line of showers. It's 54, some rain cool air here in Pittsburgh, pair of fives in State College, 63 in Cleveland, 59 in Buffalo, and that cooler air is going to settle in as we start tomorrow and really cool down on Wednesday and Thursday. But you can see the rain is still pretty far off to the west, so the remainder of this evening, at least in the city, is looking okay. The further north and west you go, the better chance you have of seeing a few showers through the next several hours, and that's where the steadiest downpours will likely be later tonight. So starting to pick up an intensity here over Berks County in the Lehigh Valley. This will all continue to move slowly eastward through the next six hours or so and likely get here into the city after about midnight and some steady rain possible overnight. But this system will be weakening. So a few scattered showers tomorrow morning. The front's offshore and instead of clearing us out and bringing high pressure in like it looked like it was going to do last week, now we've got this coastal low throwing a little wrinkle into the forecast. This low is going to sit and spin off the coast. It's closest here on Wednesday, so that's when it's impacted will be most notable. Best chance for rain, like actual steady rain, comes tonight overnight, but we do have the chances for showers in the forecast basically every day through the rest of the week, and it will turn cooler than average Wednesday and Thursday. Down the shore, that's where you'll feel the greatest impacts with that low lurking off the coast. Wind gust, 35 to 45 miles per hour, scattered showers, and likely some minor coastal flooding or beach erosion. As you can see, the winds will be out of the northeast. Winds tomorrow could gust as high as 30 or 35 miles an hour. Wednesday, winds down the shore may gust as high as 35 or even 40 miles per hour. So definitely a blustery time frame for the shore points and pretty breezy inland as well. The further north and west you go, the better the weather will actually be this week in the Poconos. More sunshine than what we'll see here in the city and what they'll see down the shore. Your eyewitness weather seven day forecast again Wednesday and Thursday. The coolest days doesn't look like a lot of rain, just a few spotty showers here and there. Friday, some sun returns and then it's a gradual lifting out of that pattern, so to speak, as we try to get back to near 70, more seasonable by the weekend. Sounds good to me. Thank yeah, you so much.